Pitching is something that I learned on the phone. So learning it on the phone is applicable to, I guess, cold email, but not in the same way. Copywriting and phone sales are two very different arts, let's say. But I remember my first opening line when I was calling on the phone. It was, good afternoon, my name is Tristan Tate. I'm calling from T3 Television, and I'd like to discuss the opportunity of television advertising for your company. That was the first line that I would say on the phone. So who I was, where I was calling from, what I wanted from them, what I wanted them to entertain the idea of. Because it was always a tantalizing carrot I'd dangle in front of them, I'd like to discuss the possibility of television advertising for your company. I was waiting then for a series of objections. So to pitch, you need to come across letting them know who you are and what you want very fast because CEOs and people who own businesses have very little time for idiots on the phone. Objections are the key to telephone sales and face-to-face -face sales as well. Everyone's going to try to say no for a bunch of different reasons and you have to be able to counter them very, very quickly. So let's take television advertising again. I'm calling to discuss the possibility of television advertising for your company. Well, that's too expensive. I can't afford television advertising. Well, do you know how much television advertising is nowadays? And they'd be like, well, no, but I imagine it's quite expensive. And I say, well, you know what? You're completely correct. You don't belittle them. You're completely correct. But your ideas are outdated because back in the 1990s, when there were only four television channels to advertise on, these big media companies had a monopoly over the fact that people watch television and only big blue chip companies could afford it. However, since the advent of cable te television and the 200 plus channels you have across your home, it's given us two advantages. One, the prices have come right down because more, there's more channels to compete with one another. And two, you can specify exactly which demographics you want to reach with your television commercials. For example, if you're trying to sell to women and you're selling makeup, we could target sex in the city on this channel. If you're trying to target men, then we can use two and a half men on Comedy Central. And you'd wow them with knowledge while overcoming their objections. So the art of pitching is to be able to turn any no or any I don't think so or any I'm not interested into a question, into them being curious. And it's something that we call the desire curve. Of course, everybody wants television advertising, but they don't think it's right for their business. They don't think they can afford it. You start at zero and the close can only be made on the graph once you get their desire high enough. That's when they say, yes, I'm happy to meet you face to face. So pitching is all about face-to-face -face or on the phone in a live conversation with a person, how to deal with and overcome their objections to not wanting the product that you want to sell. Now, copywriting is a very different art because it doesn't work like a free-flowing conversation. And I'm quite good at it. And I did a lot of the early copywriting for mine and Andrew's businesses when we first started out to sell, for example, war room memberships. I did some of it back then. However, I'm not an expert. But you know who is an expert? The professor inside the real world. So if you want to learn 2024 sales, don't listen to me, the 36-year-old man who has a career in sales in the past and on the phone. Very, very useful skills to know and still applicable today. However, if you're looking for sales information on how to sell via email, how to copyright, how to send cold correspondence and get clients back, then you want to be inside the real world.